Okay, everybody, we're back out in the garage. Um, okay, so previously we saw that it only takes 43 minutes to crack an 8-bit code. At worst, it takes 43 minutes. I'll do the same kind of math on a 16-bit code. So here's an example of a 16-bit code. Just 16 characters that are either ones or zeros. Um, now, from again, from our previous video, we know that there are 2 to the 16th, or I'm going to check this. I think it's 63356, but I never remember this number. 65536. It's 65,536 possible codes for 8 bit. For 8 bit. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to brute force those as Sean as Sean said. So Sean can still um, Sean the supercomputer. We're still going to use 10 seconds, even though theoretically speaking, it's going to take me longer than 10 seconds to type 16. But still, let's just keep using 10 seconds per code for the, for the next few. Again, Sean's a slow computer. Any supercomputer can do this a lot faster. So let's start with 65,536 codes. And let's do the same kind of conversion we did before where we can every 10 seconds check one code. And again, same mathematics. You're actually getting a nice jump start on your first project with watching this video because it's allowing you to show how units actually can divide off when you're converting from one thing to the next. So this is going to be 655,360 seconds. 655,360 seconds. So that's, well, that's significantly more <laughs> than it was before. We only had, what, 2,560. As a matter of fact, there's so many seconds there, I think we should probably combine the next conversion and go past minutes and go to at least hours and maybe further. Let's take a look. So we're going to go 655 360, 655,360 seconds. And we're going to do two conversions simultaneously here. Not simultaneously, sequentially here. We're going to change seconds to minutes. So one minute is 60 seconds. And then we're going to convert minutes to hours because one hour is 60 minutes. Hopefully this makes sense. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take a big jump here, where we're gonna go from straight from seconds to hours, because what happens is the seconds are gonna cancel here, and the minutes are gonna cancel there. So the only unit you have left is hours. So then we're gonna do six hundred fifty-five thousand three hundred sixty times one times one on the top, divided by 1 times 60 times 60, which is going to be 3,600. So it's going to be this number divided by 3,600. All right, here we go. 6, 5, 5, 3, 6, 0, divide by 3,600, and I get 182 hours. Wow! About 182 hours. About 182 hours, which we are now in the multiple days category, because every 24 hours is one day, so 48 hours is two days, 96 hours is four days, oh boy, 120 hours is five days, 144 hours is six days, 168 hours is seven days. We're somewhere between seven and eight days. As a matter of fact, let's do one more math problem. Let's convert 182 hours into days. Rather than doing it kind of painfully the way I just did it, let's go times one day is 24 hours. Hours divides off. We do 182 divided by 24. Again, I can't do this in my head. If it were 25, I could. 182 divided by 24. We get about seven and a half days, 7.6 days. So for a 16 bit, it takes about 7.6 
days to craft. That's pretty amazing when you think about it. That's pretty incredible. We, we effectively made the code twice as long, but rather than just doubling the amount of time it took, it became exponentially greater, which actually makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense because every time you add a bit, you're multiplying by two. So it is exponential. Times two, times two, times two. Repeated multiplications. It makes sense to, hopefully it makes sense. But still, that is not long enough because 7.6 days is a long time. That's me working around the clock 7.6 days, showing, dur, 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 typing every 10 seconds. Supercomputers can work around the clock, but again, they are super, super fast. So in the next series of videos, we'll look at one more uh, example, which is 32-bit. Once again, doubling from 8 to 16 and then 16 to 32. There are many other kinds of bit um, arrangements. You'll see some on the uh, optional quiz you do. Um, but I think you're starting to get the idea now. So we'll do one more uh, where we introduce 32-bit, then we'll come back out to the garage and we'll look at what 32-bit looks like as far as how long it will take. And you know what we're gonna try to do next time, maybe, is try to do all this in one big sequence of multiplications. Yeah, be some fun. See you in a little bit.